Stone, hello for the first time. We haven't even spoken yet. I, I know this is amazing. I <laughs> just showed up on my screen and now right. I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm so happy to see you, Ryan. Amazing. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Um, I've got two surprises for you here. Okay. Um, I don't know if you remember, but in 2018, uh, when you did Life Wasted for us on my channel, okay. yeah, right. Uh, I turned that into the finale of Stone Week, if you recall. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Capo, it's up there, but then that... string open. It's, I mean, it's what is what is that kid up to? Why, what's he doing? <laughs> so the surprise is, uh, welcome to the finale of Stone Week Two. Oh my God, no. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> What's I, I'm so excited to know what 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 was part of Stone Week in terms oh, of like. Well, I sent you. I did. Um, I did. I was doing a video every day back then because I wasn't teaching so many lessons then. Uh, but I did uh, six of your songs, especially right, yeah. ones that maybe people wouldn't have heard before. I remember you yep. asked me for "Bore Me," which. Yep exhausted me figuring out that yeah. song i was wrecked <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry but at least one of us knows it now because that's right <laughs> I definitely don't. that was really fun uh so i'm gonna do that again i'm gonna do a few songs uh, about about you leading up to this and so uh first of all and you can think of it do you have any requests either your songs or a song you'd love to know that um, you've never you know what song is really easy that I like is Dissident. It's just thick because it's just the shape of the chord. Just it all just kind of brings up. Oh, uh, your verses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is my favorite thing in music. You've got C and G minor, which is Kokomo. Oh, great. Totally. And I love I love Kokomo. Uh, which, which brings us to John Stamos, which because he's in the video. He's in the Kokomo video. We were, we were watching. Is, it just shows you those chords can sound good or bad. It just. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching Full House last night. Um, oh, man. And uh, the second surprise is since I won't be posting this video uh, until the near future, uh, that puts us at this moment in the near past. We're okay. so I just I wanted to get that out. There. Okay. I, yep. I don't know I'm if you've in. ever been in the near past before. Time bending is really I'm familiar with it. So it's, you know, <laughs> wherever it is, <laughs> sure. there we are. And then at some point we won't be. And then we don't have to return emails or do any that's of this right. stuff. Yeah, and that's it. All great. <laughs> okay, we've got that all taken care of. Um, listen, Painted Shield One. I think it's perfect. You know, I listen to albums maybe differently than other people listen to albums. And listening to Painted Shield One, I can't find a single darn thing wrong with it. You know, along with, if I'm to list my list from my life, uh, Audio Slave, the first album, Euphoria Morning, perfect through and through. Yield 10 versus Lightning Bolt, to name that corner of the universe. Wow, okay, and uh, Super Unknown and Painted Shield One goes on, tacks okay, on to the great. end of that list. I just, I adore that album. That's awesome. Thank you. And how, yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And how special it was to be at the first Painted Shield show. That was <laughs> really quite an experience. Well, I'm glad you were there. I wish you were the third because that's when we found our footing um, and uh, a little bit more. But uh, that that is a really special uh, collaboration. I've been uh, spending a lot of time um, communicating with Britt lately and Britt's working on their record right now. And it's it's unbelievable. And the fact that Britt plays in Painted Shield and that Matt Chamberlain plays in Painted Shield and that Jeff Fielder plays in Painted Shield and the Mason Jenny. It's just like, I'm just playing with like truly amazing people. And we've, we've just dipped our toes into how we could kind of make music together and like what it could sound like because everyone is so um, freaking talented. Um, so it's, it's wonderful. And I hope that we get to do more and it could last for a long time, but um three shows that's what we got we almost played south by southwest i know and i almost went there instead of oh, seattle man. uh and i'm so glad i chose seattle so that was a lucky move uh, i love how yeah. Brittany plays the keyboard like a guitar sometimes that's incredible. oh my god it's like full <laughs> Jimi hendrix like yeah. going for it. it's like <laughs> and they don't do that in, in in their other band so it's like that's great because you know it's like you get to be as mike mccready as you want to be in this situation makes a racket, you know, because um, I'm, you know, I'm making a racket over there and then that inspires Brit to make a racket too. So that's good. <laughs> so speaking, so speaking of painted shield one, we're going to walk everybody through uh, 10 years from now, which I find okay. to be just a wonderful little ditty. Yeah. I, I, I love it. It's, it's one of those ones that uh, um, I kind of, it wrote, probably wrote in, in one morning of just kind of picking around on guitar and it's just, 
finger picking and then just finding another little spot to go to and then finding another little spot and then, you know, kind of just feeling out the arrangement. And then Mason Jennings um, with that lyric, um, it's beautiful. And um, and Britney's background vocals and all that little harpsichordy uh, soundscape stuff that they're doing is so, so incredible to be able to kind of play across bars like that and really make it count when you're sort of accompanying. So a lot of great accompaniment. Uh, Matt Chamberlain's like Beatles drum groove and the verses are fucking great. So I'm I love the song and uh, tell me what you'd like me to do. Uh, walk us walk us through the verse riff and I'm going to tell you what I love about it. OK, let's see here. I I, pl I plucked through it. Uh, I plucked through it yesterday for a second just to make sure. Hey, thanks for hanging out. You having fun? I'm having fun. Stone's playing is about to get too powerful for his audio setup, so I'm going to kind of walk you through what's about to happen, and that way when you watch him, it'll make a little more sense. Uh, we're going to start with an A as a bar chord, right on the fifth fret of the E string, and then A7, remove your pinky. And then what he does is he bars all the way across on the fourth fret, and he grabs the G string in the sixth fret. And what this really is, if, if you think of G sharp seven, right? And then with your pinky finger on the G string, that makes it a sus four. Like when we play E and we put our pinky finger on the G string, that's the note that makes it sus four. So if you want to play the whole G sharp seven um, and then add that sus four and then take it off, right? And then down, same thing, one fret lower. To regular C walking down to F7, and this feels awesome. It's gonna be first fret of the A string, open two into E7. So, one more time, and he does a very specific, you know, plucking, finger plucking pattern. I'm kind of allergic to very specific finger <laughs> plucking patterns, so I'm just gonna strum pluck this for you, and you do it however you want. A, A7, G sharp sus, Sus to regular, then C, F7, E7, back to stone. Um, so it's a, just an A bar chord. So it's kind of going back and forth between the A note and the and the E note on the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it goes to. It goes down to uh, a oh. seventh there. Oh, and it does hit seven uh, before you go to the G sharp mm -hmm. sus. And then and then it's like a, a bar chord basic or going all the way across the bar and then you're up here on that one note there. Yeah. That's just a regular C? Regular C, I okay. guess. Yeah, walking down to the F. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And then you just stay there. I got and that. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna go to that A sharp. Yeah, yeah. Let's stop at the verse for a second. I just wanna, I just wanna talk about that. Um, I, uh, first of all, things that I can point out about songs you've written that I love. They're often chromatic, meaning not skipping any notes, right? <clears throat> I don't know what that means, but I, I trust you. Right. Okay. So, you know, you've got your, and I'm just going to simplify it. You've got your A and then you're down yeah. on G sharp and G and you're walking down without skipping anything. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to. Yeah. Which is always breaking the rules, so to speak. So and yeah. I, I love that. And this one, the, uh, when you're on the uh, F and that, well, you're playing a different, you're on the F and then you go, I think it's hysterical. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. But on, uh, on per, it's yeah, almost it, everything's almost right. So it disguises it in some way. It's like it, it's, <laughs> that's right. it's probably right. 
That's right. But again, simplify just a little bit. But what I love about um, this verse in general is it's it's kind of meandering to where it wants to be and where it where it kind of stops breaking the rules is when you're in C, F, and your E7 chord. Yep. It's an F7, yep. but that's more or less the key of C, which with the, the cheeky E7 chord, which is a thing. We'll just leave that there. But you start on an A, yep. which has nothing to do with the key of C, your ultimate okay. destination. And yeah. the, thing, the thing that gets me about it is if you track the G string, yeah. you've got the sixth fret, you move down to what you're playing is a form of G sharp sus four, which has the G string in the same fret. So you're moving on to the next chord, but that note's like hanging just, on for dear that's life, tying, right? Yeah, that's tying yeah, it yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. And then you let go of it, but then yeah. hang on to that one. Yeah. And then and then you're at G, which G's number one job in life is to want to go to C. Yeah. So when you do, it's like, Yes. Yeah, the release. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. All. <laughs> That's what I, I love it. To say. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah it, me, it, oh, I was ahead. just going to say, it's so, yeah, but we do get that seventh in there. So, A to A7. Right. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, yep, the next part. Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of chords that don't belong yeah. together, but it works so good. <laughs> it's wonderful. Do you think? Are you going? Do you want to show people more clearly what I'm playing? Is that will you help them through this process a little bit more? Do you think? Oh, I there's a pause button. There's there's okay. sl there's the slow button on YouTube. No, that was very clear. Um, okay. And you know, maybe I'll make a video after. Uh, uh, you know, unrelated to this. Um, okay. That was very, very clear what you did. Okay, take me through this tragic section where you've got this B flat with the open G string. Yeah. So you're going you on the on the G string. You just go up to the F sharp uh, or whatever to the to the major okay. seven. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. That's the uh, sort. Of, what knows that? A. It's an it's an A. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the pattern. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. And move it up. Same. Mm -hmm. All right, this part's awesome. What you're going to do is make a two finger B flat power chord. That's the A string first fret. And we want the open G string at first. So you're going to pluck A, D, G. But then your middle finger is going to go on the G string second fret, rendering this a B flat major seven. On, on, off, off. And then you're going to do the exact same thing three frets higher. And this thing here, that's like Weezer's Blue album, right? You got that G string, a higher string, ringing out a lower note, kind of gives you a mind flower there. But same pattern. Off, on. And that's where you get up into the C. In, into the power chord, yeah, for sure. I was in tune a minute ago. <laughs> the tuning song. I, I don't know. I could, I could probably tune up real quick. That's okay. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, you, you want, want me to do that again? Uh, no, that's okay. No, okay. that's great. Yeah, this right. is we're, we're chill over here. <laughs> I'm not so yeah. So we get up to the <laughs> and then um, and then so just C. All right, we're into the power chords now. This is a really kooky rhythm. It's going to be C on the eighth fret of the E string. Three, four, one. Then A, F, and D on the A string fifth fret, but he adds that A note, the low fifth, in the bass of his D power chord for that extra mud. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. 
three, four, one. A F D. Now, on the record, on the record, you play that D power chord with the A in the bass. So yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. wanted to add, I wanted to ask you about that. Now I okay. haven't, co I have not combed through Brad like I've combed through Pearl Jam. But in all of Pearl Jam, I've never seen you until Gigaton play a power chord with the fifth in the bass, is what this is. And so, did that just enter your life? Probably. I mean, I <laughs> it's it it's it's entered my life in the last probably ten years. As far okay. as like, oh, well, you don't have to just you can add that lower. No, it's like knowing it's like being a bass player at the same time or something. You know, it sort of gives you that chance to add another color in down below that makes it heavier so yeah i just yeah. i can i use them where i can if that works i'll 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 grab that just so you can hit more strings and kind of be more you can yeah you know, yeah be, it's mud you're putting something other than the root note d yeah. in the bass yeah. and it just gives it some at the at the bottom of it it's great yeah. and what i love uh, about this section is just kind of the space in it in terms of the hold so it's like uh you just wait yep and just goes back to the, back to the main part. Yeah, I've been work. I, I I every time I think I have that rhythm, I don't. I'm gonna try it. Tell me if I do it right. <laughs> and I I kind of leave out as many of the chunky chunks just to kind of like let oh, that. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah that's me. But, that, that's, but my... that's but that's it. That's <laughs> yeah. that's exactly right. <laughs> rock on and yeah just the neat the power chords thrown in this beautiful meandering song yeah. uh you i want to go back to the b flat and i'm going to call this c sharp the b flat yeah. this is a this is a major seven chord that beautiful okay. soft thing and then you do yeah. the same thing up on yeah. c sharp right and you you and i've talked about this this is your two major chords three half steps apart disease that you do all okay. the time anytime you play d and f you know that's but yeah. I am mine and Red Mosquito, D and yeah. F, if you literally, that's your two major chords, three half yeah. state. You do that all the time and you pull it off and I can't pull I, that I, off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> well, I am mine and Red Mosquito. Oh, I guess Red Mosquito, that was, that was I, I, I worked on that one, but uh, I am mine is, is Ed. So he's, yes, of course. Uh, he's yeah, either yeah. gotten my disease um, yes. or <laughs> I finally given him, he's not inoculated. Um, that's it. But that's but, interesting. I mean, it's 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 interesting that I have patterns that uh, uh, are consistent and consistently sort of against the grain of what you're supposed to do. Because you exactly think it, right. that you know, I just that's just why I hear I always want to just be one little step outside in some way to make it sound anything like Jimmy Page, and then that's what I'm aiming for. No. And that's 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 what I like about your guitar playing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and there's just one more part to this song, the, the outro, which is your A, your C sharp and your D. Right. Yeah. And I just keep picking through that. It's almost like the verse part. You threw the, you threw that in there yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh. Your guitar? What guitar is that? This is one of those uh, Strat, Strato, Strat, Stratasonics or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got one from, from Stratocaster and they're great. I mean, I just like, it's my hotel guitar. Cool. It's kind of tough to play. So it's kind of not tough to play, but it's like an acoustic. So it sort of makes you when you get on your electric guitar that suddenly you're you know it feels easier so it's kind of it's a good like kind of workout guitar and uh <laughs> they kind of they sound good in a hotel room and you know no whammy cool. bar that's that's 10 years from now yeah we did it hey like ryan thanks so much for caring and for all the help that you've given me over the years oh my uh, gosh it's it's for always anyone that doesn't know that whenever i have a Whenever I can't remember how to play uh, either a Pearl Jam song or a song related to Pearl Jam or <laughs> found uh, Seattle oriented, um, Ryan has been incredibly uh, generous with his time and his heart. Um, so thank you so much, Ryan, for 
coaching me through these years. Oh, always I'm, my play. I'm, it's an hour before we're about to go on and we're playing some freaking song that I haven't played. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to put up. <laughs> Can you t- can you zoom? I need a I need a zoom now. Again, I, hey, I am always available to you. Please don't ever be shy. Uh, we have we I have got one more piece of business for us, and it's oh, it's a, of the utmost uh, serious nature here. Um, so you you've obviously won a Grammy or several. I'm not sure. You're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you've sold millions of records and toured the world. But there's one club you're not yet a part of. AARP. No. <laughs> uh, come back. Oh, you're back. Okay, great. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> nope, that's all right. I'm sure it was me. <laughs> I, I live in the middle of nowhere. We just got Elon Musk's internet to <laughs> finally have internet. Okay. It only took three wow. years. Uh, and I'll just tell you, uh, you know, um, Henrik is in this club. Okay. And, uh, and Stu Verud's in this club. Okay. And uh, it's it's called the Craziest Friends Club, which is okay. This has been a meeting of the Craziest Friends, and now we have to sing the Craziest Friends theme song. Uh, okay. All you have to do is say the Craziest Friends, or that's it. It's gonna go like this. I'll I'll walk you through it, and then we'll do it for you. Ready? It's like this. Yeah. It's like this. Undeniably, most decidedly, the Craziest Friends. And that's it. So all you gotta do is say the craziest friends, and then okay. that's then you're then you're in. Then you're in the club. That's right. Okay. Are you I'll ready? Play. I don't need to play. Right. Just sing. You, yeah. You just sing. Here we go. I'll sing. I'll sing the first parts. Yeah. A, yeah. A one, two, ready, go. Undeniably, most decidedly, the craziest friends. <laughs> Was I early? Did I jump the gun? No, that was perfect. That was, that was, have you done that before? Uh, I've been practicing. <laughs> you, you heard. Henrik the warned craziest you. craziest friends. <laughs> I like the way, yeah, you put a good spin on it. All right. The club is one person bigger. Okay, great. I'm in. I like all those guys. So oh. Richard Stuber, fantastic drummer. Great. Have you ever had a chance to play with Richard Stuber before? No, but I got to. Well, he's been on the show several times, and uh, I got to see him at Easy Street right before I saw you and right after okay. in between in between. Okay. So I, that was the first time we met in person. Yeah. Anyways. Um, Ryan, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you and chat with you. And I'll, I'm happy to do this again. If there's a stone song that, you know, seems to be the one that people want to figure out that, I mean, you've already figured them all out, but I'm happy to join you. <laughs> I'm happy to join you on your show and enjoy you figuring out how I could have possibly played something maybe even better. Uh, well, thank you, Stone. I will definitely bug you, at, you know, in an appropriate amount of time. Thank okay, you perfect. for today. This is great. Nice to see you. Got it. Nice to see you, Ryan. Thank you to all you craziest friends for joining. Uh, I told Stone this once. I said, whoever said never meet your heroes didn't have Stone Gossard as a hero. If you know anything about me, uh, you know that that man is the reason why I picked up the guitar. And to, to know that he's such a kind soul... It, the Pearl Jam fans were right all along. <laughs> I hope that was fun. Thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.